Welcome to Terribly Accurate and to the month of March. In this video, we are going to look at the overall vibe for the month. Will you find your pot of gold? Are you gonna get lucky in love? Where do you need to push your luck to get ahead? What rain will be hitting your life? What will the rainbow after be? And then if you stick around all the way to the end of the video, you will find out what is your crystal of the month and what is it good for? How's it gonna help you? As well as figuring out how you can get a free reading from me. Sun, moon, rising, but not Venus. Unless you are spying on somebody else's um, love forecast, for example, then it's for their Venus. But this video right here is gonna show you how to get the most out of these videos that I make or that anybody else makes for taroscopes, horoscopes, whatever, or even ones that you would read online. And one more thing, there are links below to connect you to the taroscopes that I've been making online for all zodiac signs. And now let's get started. Sagittarius, what's up for you in March? Overall vibe? Man, I would say more than 50% of the signs that I have done for March so far don't really have this luck. I think Aries have a good amount of luck. So do Leos, what, Scorpios too? But, but the rest, I mean, and that might be Mercury retrograde related. Um, but what they're saying is, you know, think about happy memories from the past. Whenever you've had unlucky times in the past, how did you get through them? And then how did we look at those things later? Um, I, I believe maybe it was Aries that had that similar vibe where it was like, I, I could totally be lying, it might not be Aries. <laughs> but it, so if you know who it was, if you cross watched, if you watch other aspects of this, of my, if you watch other videos, other zodiac signs, maybe tell me in the description box below, or no, tell me in the comments below which video it was, because that would help other people out. I'm sorry, guys, I do so many of these and then I forget. But um, the point is, you know, maybe something that doesn't feel so good, it's kind of embarrassing happens, and then like three years down the road, you're kind of glad that it did, even though it sucked at the time, because now it's a good story at parties, um, or because it makes you more relatable. So there's that. Um, Will you find a pot of gold this month? What's up, what's up with your finances? They're like, this is the thing. This month you might feel like you're working super, 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 super hard. You know, you're really focused on the work and you might not be getting what you want. So then you just work harder and you work harder and you work harder. And so what they're saying is based on that, you know, I don't know how happy you're gonna be with the outcome. So if you can work a little less hard and just be cool with the amount of money that you've got, that might cause you less stress because the more that you work hard for not as much as you want, well, I mean, then it's just creating a bad um, vibrational energy as far as pulling money in, okay? So I guess if it were me, I would only work hard if my money vibe is high for this month. Now, some of you can't afford to do that, right? Like this would maybe work if you are a waitress or a stripper or um, anything else that like kind of just works part-time. I mean, some waiters and, and strippers are full-time. Anyway, point is, point is, some of us work in like a um, corporate job where it's like nine to five, okay? And if that's the case, like we get a salary and then like you're like, what are you even talking about? So what I'm talking about then is maybe this month because it doesn't necessarily get you a bonus, like your workplace doesn't do that, what are you gonna be killing yourself for, right? You know, they're like, it's just gonna make you unhappy if that's the case. But you know, like if you're in sales, you might like go, 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 and you might not get the results that you want because people don't have the money to buy the product that you're peddling, but maybe when their tax returns come in April, now you're gonna get like better off to do that, and, you're, and it's a good thing you didn't waste all that energy in March because, you know, as you're dead, because you worked yourself you know, to the end of your limit in March for no reason. Now here comes somebody else fresh as a daisy to come and rack up all your sales. So that's my point here, okay? It's gonna apply differently for everybody. If you think your situation doesn't apply here, maybe like a personal reading would be best so we can get you more details on that. It's hard when you're doing, you know, hundreds or thousands of people in one zodiac sign. Um, so moving on, will you find a 
partner? Like, will you get lucky in love if you are single? And ah, I love it. So this is the third sign that actually has this. And I don't often see a lot of signs have this in one month. So this is a month for soulmate connections if you're single, deep emotional bonds, um, life partnerships, things like that. So hey, that's amazing. They're like, and you're gonna kind of just know it. You know, so maybe not before you talk to them, maybe it's not like I see you across the room and I know that you're my soulmate and like love at first sight. But maybe like as you get to know them throughout the month of March, you're gonna be like, oh my God, I already know. That's amazing. Yay, I'm so happy for you. Okay, so if you are already in a relationship, what's up? They're like, not a dramatic month for you. So that's cool. Um, they're like, here's the thing. Some of you might not want the same thing as your partner anymore. You might not have the same thing in mind, but there's still no drama. So that's good. They're like, all this really is, is an opportunity for you to think about what makes me excited. What is it that I want? Because maybe this isn't the relationship I want to be in anymore. And so it's kind of like this time to slowly start thinking about what do I want though? Because just pointing out what you don't doesn't really do you any favors, does it? Okay, so if you are in an on again, off again relationship, if it is one of those it's complicated situations, what they're saying is, you know, I don't think your heart is really in it. Um, they're like, yeah, it's not love. So like, what are you doing? Wasting your time. You're just like fucking around. So there's that. Now, um, where do you need to push your luck? Okay, what is it that you have to do in order to co-create the reality that you're trying to attract? And they're saying, well, you're thinking about what you don't want, what bums you out. So we've got to switch that around and start focusing on what we do. Now, for some of us, we've been in this confusion sort of energy where we don't really even know what we want. But sometimes by narrowing out the things that we don't, we can figure it out by contrast. So if you need help with that, there is a, um, worksheet that I put in the description box below to help you do that, okay? Um, what will be the rain in your month of March, you know, that we can take as a warning right now? And they're just saying, things are gonna stay the same and you should feel really good about yourself. Um, you should like continue to be that shiny, wonderful, attractive, sexy, Sagittarius that you are. Um, but, you know, they're also saying, even though, you know, like, okay, so you individually, super, super confident, but there's something or someone that you feel like you can't leave, even though it's causing you all this emotional turmoil and stress. What's up with that? Um, they're like, you know, you just keep hoping that things are gonna get better, but they haven't yet. And you've been hoping this for a while. Maybe that's the reason why you can't figure out what you want because you keep staying in something that you probably don't because you don't want to admit it to yourself or to the other person or to the other thing, right? Because maybe that's what other people say you should want, but what do you want? You keep talking about, hey, what I want is important, but then, you know, just gonna keep hoping that, that what I have is gonna change. Nah, doesn't work. So what's the reward if you figure this out? If you cut ties with that job, with that friend, with that boyfriend, with whatever that is fucking you up? Um, they're like, well, you're gonna appear to be a lot more successful, you're gonna feel a lot more successful, and you're not gonna be given so much of yourself, of your time, of your energy, of your money, of your love, of your whatever you're given to something that doesn't give back to you what you need. So sure, it gives back to you something, I'm sure, otherwise why would you be there? But does it give you what you need? No, but you're, so you're giving all of, all of your resources to somebody else to fill their need or to a business to fulfill their need, but you're not getting what you need? Hmm, let's go back and focus on ourselves a little bit, okay? So now I wanna shift over to our power crystal of the month. Sodalite is associated with the throat chakra, the blue one on your neck. The angels that are associated to this stone are Archangel Gabriel, Jeremiel, Raphael, and Zadkiel. Sodalite is safe to run under cold water. You can place it in the sun, but maybe not for super extended periods of time, but it's great in the moonlight for cleansing and recharging. 
Sodalite increases your psychic awareness. It helps you to be more humble and it inspires more courage within you. It helps to break addictive patterns and cycles, not necessarily pertaining to things like drug addiction or alcohol addiction like an amethyst or a smoky quartz would, but addictive patterns and cycles in your life. Maybe these are relationship patterns. Maybe you are addicted to a game on your phone and therefore you don't get the things done in the household that you need to get done. Sodalite will help with that. Sodalite also helps you to be of more service to other people. Sodalite clears blockages that you have and helps you to be more open and more okay and comfortable with being vulnerable. Sodalite is a protective stone and it enhances the perception that you have from the third eye perspective and it helps to facilitate that third eye awakening or that psychic awakening. Sodalite infers a feeling of true confidence and it lowers the need that you would have for outside acknowledgement or praise. Sodalite inspires self-respect. It helps you to think more logically and to be more verbally expressive. Sodalite encourages emotional balance and the mastery over your emotions as well. Sodalite will help to calm your anxiety and it's a great stone to help reduce the frequency and duration of panic attacks. Sodalite helps you to be more objective, to have a more pure and clear mind. Sodalite helps you to get rid of obsolete or rigid mental thinking that we're conditioned to have so that you can be more open to new possibilities. This is the way that it helps you to clear blocks that you've maybe acquired over the course of your life for a variety of reasons, whether they are societal or not. Sodalite is a truth-seeking stone, and so not only does it help you to find the truth, but to accept the truth, and further, to have a healthy idea of what the future should look like and what is realistic. Sodalite not only makes you more trustworthy, it helps you to trust yourself and your own convictions. Sodalite will take hypersensitive or defensive personalities and start to transform them by releasing their fear and their guilt and all of their control issues. Sodalite inspires confidence, camaraderie, harmony, solidarity, and overall it's great as a team working stone. And so this is a great stone to bring to groups in which you'll be setting goals or having meetings and working towards something together. Sodalite aligns the upper chakras, so everything from the heart chakra upwards, and it does activate that third eye chakra, that pineal gland. Sodalite works to cleanse all of your organs as well as your lymph system. After Sodalite kind of cleanses out this lymph system, it activates the immune system and it will increase your metabolic balance. Sodalite primarily treats the throat, vocal cords, the larynx, and you can put one just right on top of your throat chakra in order to help reduce the sound of hoarseness in your voice. Sodalite will help to relieve digestive issues and it reduces fevers as well as blood pressure. Sodalite stimulates the fluid absorption in the body, so it's a great stone to have on your body if you are feeling dehydrated while you're drinking some water or Gatorade whatever it is that you're drinking. And then it also prevents calcium deficiency. So if you're having a glass of milk, it will help you to absorb more of that calcium. Sodalite helps to fight radiation damage from electronic or electromagnet pollution that comes from TV, computers, microwaves, and things like that. 